It's the long-awaited sex type thing, swing type version or unplugged version. They're almost identical, one tiny little difference. I'll show you when we get there for Mr. Benny McGee, for Mr. Last Howls, Justin Taylor, and Chris Cena. An extra special heartfelt thanks to Mr. Kurt Hodge, hey Kurt, and Whitney, and Rye, like the bread, Sing for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, I am endlessly grateful for the turtle food money. That is literally what I spend it on. If you'd like to know what that's about and have that kind of fun, the link, of course, will be in the description. Let's start with the intro glockenspiel, or whatever, from the studio recorded version. You could do this a couple of different places, but I like G string 9th fret, B string 12th fret, and the B string is gonna go from 12 to 11 to 10, and then we want eight, so you're gonna have to switch your fingers around. You'd have to regardless of where we did this. So middle finger's gonna switch to G string duty on the 9th fret, do a fancy slide up if you like, and pointer finger's gonna grab B8, and then, so you can get, you can get both of those strings at the same time, your middle finger won't move, and the B string will go 8, 10, 8. <laughs> Thusly. And of course, glockenspiel gives way to ringy, outy acoustic guitar, and you're gonna grab the G string fourth fret, but why not do a fancy slide up to the G string fourth fret and sloppily strum the open B and E strings as well. Down to the third fret on the G string. Second fret. Open, and sometimes it goes open to open. Do it if you like, don't if you don't. Or you can pluck more carefully. It seems that Dean sometimes is sloppy about it, and sometimes just plucks the G string, and then the B string, and then the E string. sharp chord but the way Dean likes to do stuff with open strings that don't belong so if you're watching the unplugged version you'll see him just cover the D string and the G string fourth and third frets with the open B and the open E string and that's it for the verse you can kind of arpeggiate or strum but I like to do the whole F sharp bar chord but without the bar so you get all the low notes too just with the open B and open E string so two four four three it's just more beef if you're by yourself fancy backwards strum if you like that's it for the intro and the verse the chorus, we're half done already, this is not so bad, is a B minor 7 with no 5th in it. So the proper way to put your hand on the guitar for such an endeavor is going to be either pointer or middle finger on the E string 7th fret, and then the next finger, whichever it is, on the D, G, and B strings 7th fret as well. So you have 7, nothing, the A string is where the 5th would reside. Think power chord, right? But we're not putting it in there. Uh, so 7, nothing, 7, 7, 7 for a B minor 7 with no 5th. My fingers don't really like to do that. I don't know why. I guess I could practice it and then they would, but I do this, so you can try it if you're having trouble with that. Middle finger E7 and then pointer finger like anatomically the wrong way <laughs> behind your hand there on those strings on the 7th fret. And then a D with a flat 5th, and that's going to be A5, D6, G, B7. trouble with that, I just thought of an alternative. A string 2nd fret, there's our B. We're not including our 5th, so we're going to put the minor 7 note A on the G string 2nd fret, and then B string 3rd fret, there's our B minor 7 with no 5th. And then D flat 5 is going to be, think about your D chord, but forget about your middle finger, and this note here, the A, is now the fifth, not the minor seven note of the D chord, so we're gonna flat it by one, and you get G1, B3, that's it. I'm having trouble with this one. But at least 
least it's in down here'sville and doesn't require any barring. Here I come, I come, I come, the bridge, this is where, <laughs> Sam I am, the bridge is where the tiny difference happens between the MTV Unplugged version and the studio recorded version. So if we're talking about the MTV Unplugged version, take your C shape, add the G string third fret with your pinky finger, that's now a C7, but we're going to take this shape and move it up to frets 5, 6, and 7, rendering this C7 shape an E because this A string 7th fret the root note of this shape is an E note. So you're going to start there, move it up two frets, two frets, two more frets. But on the studio recorded version, we hear that B string go up one more half step to the 12th fret. And the only thing I can confirm hearing is that B string 12th fret and the open E string, so perhaps it's... And then you hear another guitar play the little F sharp chord. But if that were a chord happening, the only thing I can find that fits, my ear anyways, would be an E7 with a B in the bass, which would be, if we're staying up here'sville, A14, D12, G13, B12. place to do that, especially if you don't have a cutaway, might be like the E7 shape down here, right? But we don't need that E note in the bass. We need this B note in the bass. So D9, G7, B9, E7. or skip it and just do the MTV unplugged version if that's what you like anyways. But you know what, now listening to it closer, I think I was just assuming they were the C7 shape chords in the studio recorded version because that's what happened on the unplugged version, but perhaps it's just... Just the B string moving up from 5 to 12 in that fashion. B5 with the open E string ringing out sloppily, of course. 5, 7, 9, 11, 12 kind of sounds like the right feel. There's some indiscriminate jamming towards the end of the studio recorded version. Grab your G string like we did right at the beginning and slide up from two to four with the sloppily ringing out E and B strings. And then four, two, open two. I'll back up to four. And then we're gonna hear two to four grab that B string third fret, but that's it to say about sex type thing, unplugged slash swing type version. Guys, thank you so much for the great request. That was a fun learn. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Happy weekend. But wait, it's time for an evolution bell comment, the bell that fights back. Today's comes from Brandon White on my Even Flow Chorus More Better video. Brandon says, more better is improper grammar. Which leads me to one of my favorite jokes. Stop me if you've heard this. You can't. This is a video. You could turn me off. Did you do it? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Anyways, there's a teacher and she's got a student who's doing particularly bad in school, so she takes it upon herself to go to his home. She knocks on the door. He answers and she says, Billy, may I speak to your mother? To which Billy replies, ain't home. May I speak to your father? To which he replies, ain't home. Billy, where is your grammar? To which he replies, She's upstairs. Thank you very much, Brandon. Everybody have a nice day. <laughs>